How do you treat heart failure with preserved ejection fraction? The American College of Cardiology just released this infographic to make it super easy. First, everyone needs to be on an SGLT2 inhibitor. This is like Invokana, Jardiance, or Farsiga. Mostly in cardiology, we use Farsiga and Jardiance depending on what the insurance pays for. Next, you want to titrate the loop diuretic. If they're volume overloaded and they have fluid that they need to come off, you want to use the loop diuretics, titrate them up correctly. I have multiple videos on how to do that correctly because most people don't know how to use them correctly. And I'll slide away afterwards so you can read the exact uh, guidelines. Next, you want to add something called an MRA. This is like spironolactone, eplerinone, or finerenone. Finerenone is the newest one, but in the guidelines, we usually use uh, spironolactone or eplerinone because those are the two that have been around the longest and have been tested for this exact thing. Next, you want to add something called an Arnie. Um, this is something called Entresto. It's literally the only one available. You want to use Entresto in that case. And last but not least, you can add an ARB, ARB, assuming the insurance doesn't pay for the Entresto um, because Entresto does include an ARB in it. Sometimes the insurances don't pay for it because it's expensive. You would add an ARB uh, in that case. I hope you find this helpful. Ask me some questions below and I'll get out of your way so you can read this.